Hello everybody, today's topic is about Calauzion. It is a very easy and very short topic. Let's see what it is. So, it is a lipogranulomatous inflammation of the meibomian gland. The meibomian glands are usually a tiny oily gland which secretes oil and it also helps in the formation of tear film. So, this is what the Calauzion which you can see over the upper lid. It usually occurs in uh, lower lid also but the most commonly the location is upper lid. So that is what you are seeing now. So the clinical features which the patient experiences are uh, the swelling away from the lid and uh, the patient never never experience any kind of pain and the swelling will be you know it gradually increase in size and it also located away from the lid. So see it is clearly away from the lid it doesn't even touches or uh, do anything to the lid it is just away from the lid that is what you're seeing in this picture and the other clinical features which the patient experiences are uh, mild heaviness over the lid and also blurred vision due to astigmatism i hope everybody knew what is astigmatism astigmatism is change in the curvature of the cornea usually you know um, the light rays passes over the cornea uh, usually reaches the retina in a single pathway but here the light is scattered and reaches the retina in multiple points that is what astigmatism is called and the patient usually experience symptoms of watering of eyes which you call it as epiphora and the signs of uh, Calosion or nodule over the lid and also there will be projection of skin which you can see here yeah the next is treatment which is very easy usually you do incision and curettage and also triamcinolon intralesional injection of triamcinolon triamcinolon is a steroid which you should keep in your mind it is a very easy treatment for calosion one is incision and curettage and the other is intralesional injection of triamcinolone. So let's see how the incision and curettage technique is done. For this, you need two instruments, which is calazion clap and the calazion scoop. So first of all, you don't do incision over the skin. You usually do under the skin, which is over the conjunctiva. You know, here you do incision here, not over the skin. It is usually done here. Uh, the calazion clamp usually used to hold the calosion and after that you can do incision so this is how you'll use the calosion clamp to hold the calosion and this is the instrument which you call it as calosion scoop which is used for taking out the contents of the calosion so these are the two instruments which you use for incision and curettage in calosion so after you holding the calosion with the calosion clamp you just make a incision which is which is vertical very very important which is a vertical incision you know usually you don't do horizontal incision because if you do a horizontal incision it will damage the other glands which you found near the calosion gland so you don't do horizontal incision so you do vertical incision which is very short and it don't affect the other glands so vertical incision is what you made in calosion and after this with the calosion scoop you just take out all the contents of the calosion and that's it you don't do any suture after it you just leave as it is this is how the incision and curettage technique is done so yeah we came to the end of the session of the class so the question of the day is what is the gland involved in calosion? I hope everybody know the answer. So please do comment your answer in the comment section. Thank you.